This is a brief introduction to the MD-11 FMS. First page, aircraft status. It will say MD-11, deflected aileron. It will say the type of engine, CF-6-080C2. The program date, the active date, what database it is, and the secondary date. Performance factor and flight event. After we said we want to in, enter the um, lats and longs, we would go to the flight and net. We would put to our desk, our where we're going. So say today we're going K L A X to K J F K, Los Angeles to Kennedy. Select that in the R one position. It does store CAN flight plans. This demonstration, we will not put the CAN flight plan. So I just go back. You put in your alternate. Say we'll use Newark as an alternate DWR. Place that in R2. So it says check database cycles. So if we check database cycles, it's from the 22nd of April to 20th of May. So technically, we are in the correct database cycle, so we can clear that. This is our lats and longs. The lats and longs, so we can take it off the iPad, verified with the with the flying pilot, or excuse me, with the captain or the flying pilot to verify that the coordinates are correct. If the coordinates are not correct, you can use the up and down arrows to change the uh, position to where it is. Right now, we have a GPS aircraft. It is accurate. It would say a knit here. We press. I'll turn off the IRUs. Once we have the IRUs on, where it says position reference, it'll say initialize RRS. After you verify that with the captain, we will press, press it, and that will start the 10 minute timer. How can you tell where the 10 minute timer is? If you go to reference, Position reference, page two, it'll say IR use a line, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and it'll say GNS, GNS. This is the way to tell if you have a GNS aircraft. If you did not have a GNS aircraft, the GNS, GNS would not be located. So back to the init page. So say our flight number is WGN1010. Put that in the flight number. The um, online, you have, if the availability for them to load the flight plan, I would wait to this point, because if you put in the numbers below it and then get the flight plan, it erases everything. For in the simulator, you just put the altitude. By putting multiple altitudes, you just have to put a slash, say 340 slash 360 slash 380 and then it will enter the point. You can enter the temperature correction and the tailwind or headwind. Cost index, Western Global, we use 80. Uh, next page, we have a taxi. So you put what the taxi is off the flight plan. If we're domestic, you slash zero for the route reserve, slash 45 minutes for the um, domestic rules. If it is international, we use 10% on the route reserve and 30 minutes on the final. On this side, it has block fuel, takeoff fuel, zero fuel weight fuel, landing weight, takeoff CG, and zero fuel weight CG. On the third page of the init is where you have fuel quantity, ballast fuel, dump, to gross weight, dump time, type of fuel, and the freeze level. Say, for instance, you um, want to do, uh, you have ballast fuel. You're allowed to have ballast fuel in the upper ox, and the ox tank, the tail tank, and the number two tank. Uh, now, number two tank, you'd put in number two, and then you'd put in the quantity. So it will say five tons. So, 
ballast fuel, and we want it in tank two. If we wanted it in the tail tank, we would put a T. If we wanted it in the aux, excuse me, you put it uh, a U. On your display, you would see the fuel and you would see the, the ballast portion. Clearing it, you just have to clear out the ballast fuel. So that is three pages of the init page. To load the flight plan, we would go to the flight plan page, LAX, you would press the SID portion, and then select your runway. For this, we'll use 24 left, and you can scroll through up or down to find your SID. Today, I'll put in the SEBI 3. If you had a transition, the transition would be noted there or additional SIDs. So from this page, we have the runway 24 left, SEBI 3, no transition, and then you would insert it. So at 10 minutes, when the IAU is aligned, we'll see the routing. After this, to select an airway, we could select Daggett. If you're entering a next waypoint, say Pomona or Los Angeles or Atlanta, you could just put it in the next waypoint. If you have a airway, you would select the airway, select Jet 104, it says not allowed. Well, Jet 104 doesn't go over Daggett. So whatever route is from Daggett to the next point, to the next point, to the next point. So here's the routing. Taking off that way, coming around that way. We have a directed direct to page which you can select the page direct to we have a nav page which has the VORs ADFs ILS and pre-selects if you want to store something we have a performance page we have a flying page we have a cruise page and we have a descent page the init page we've already talked about takeoff page self-explanatory it's takeoff and approach page. We have the flight pan page, which we've talked about. It has two depictions, one and two. Yeah, flight pan, page two. You can enter a new destination, next waypoint, return the flight pan. Page two has the miles. RTA progress, the climb speed limit up or above is R1, and return the fly plan. Progress page. Progress page tells you where you are, the next point, and the next point after that. It tells you the standard air temp, the wind temp, usable fuel on board, destination and alternate. Page two is another process to get to the RTA page. A fixed page. Fixed page is just that, a fix. You can put any fix. Say I want to put in Pomona. Put Pomona in it. Correct, the correct Latin long. It'll put Pomona on the page. You can do a beam points off of that page. And they are depicted in white, which is a manually inputted. Secondary flight plan. So we can copy the active, can put it in the number three, secondary flight plan. We can activate the secondary flight plan in case the number one flight plan is changed. Reference page. Reference page has a lot of information. We have the defined waypoint, 
a waypoint, closest airports, position reference, aircraft status, sensor, nav aid, a cars, dat dot, maintenance, readout, engine out, okay, you can confirm the engine out or you can clear an engine out, it'll also give you your drift down and pre-selected crews with an engine out. Menu, menu basically is FMS, CFDS, standby mode if you lose both FCCs or on the aircraft online you'll have ATC and you'll have um, aircraft back to the company. And that pretty much is the MD-11 FMS.